Can you just follow me, please? Yeah, sure. I just ask you to step on this and lie down on the table. Okay. So, is this your first examination? Yes. So, uh, do you actually have any questions before we can begin? Uh, yes, I just have one question. Mm -hmm. And doing the, doing the procedure, how am I being protected from the radiation here? Oh, that's a good question. So, as a radiation worker, what we usually do is we are actually wearing a full apron on already. This apron is our primary source of uh, radiation shielding. What we usually do is we follow one uh, primary rule for radiation pr uh, protection, Valera. That is actually an acronym for as low as reasonably achievable. That means we actually try to re uh, reduce and minimize the radiation exposure as low as possible, while not trying not to affect the image quality. So in this joint. Uh, in order to achieve this uh, policy, there's actually four ways to do it. The first way is shielding. Second is time. Third is distance. And the fourth thing is the amount. So as you can see, this is a full apron. Sometimes the full apron is actually used on patients also. Full apron is usually used for extremities work, such as your arms and your legs. As you can see on the skeleton, only his arms and his legs is not exposed. While on our patient here, the half apron is usually used for any procedure that is uh, above the waist, such as chest, skull, and the upper extremities. Here we have a thyroid shielding. As, uh, as you guys may know, thyroid is one of the most radio sensitive uh, organ of the body. The thyroid shielding is actually used the most. Um, it is usually used for any uh, pro uh, projections and that's for chest and for areas that are covered by the thyroid. Sometimes the sternal leg shielding is also used with conjunction to the thyroid shielding. So remember the second thing, time? Well, th that's actually pretty self-explanatory. Just try to spend less time while you're in a radial uh, sensitive area or whether it's an area with high radiation. Um, also, the distance. When you're in examination room, us uh, radiation technologists try to allow the distance to be as long as possible from the body, the body part we're uh, radiating. This is because uh, for distance, there's something called an inverse square law, law. The longer the distance between you and the radiation source, the less radiation exposure you will get. Now the fourth thing is the amount. For a tech, we usually choose the best and lowest possible um, KVP range. That is the lowest radiation possible to get the highest and the best diagnostic purpose images. Also, such as the lead shielding we talked about before, it also absorbs or blocks most of the uh, radiation in that area. Lead is chosen for shielding because lead has a high atomic number and is, is best to absorb radiation. Oh, I get it now. Thanks for the information. No problem. So, um, just, just to let you know, for radiation markers, we follow the Aldera policy for every procedure we do. This will actually reduce your radiation dosage significantly for every uh, examination you do. So there's no need to worry. Okay. Okay, so let's begin. Alright. Let's slide down.